Hello, I'm John Walton, and welcome to the Runway Girl Network Pack Sex Minute, in association with Aviation Gate. United's first Boeing 777-300ER, with its new Polaris business class, has taken to the skies, and it's a big improvement up front, with wider seats, a beautifully designed cabin and direct aisle access for every passenger. But finding somewhere to stow all of the soft product, a Saks Fifth Avenue duvet, Polaris blanket, two pillows and a cowshed amenity kit, is tricky. Sure, it's a nice business class problem to have, but first impressions matter, and not having a place to stow all this stuff makes the wrong one. Down the back, though, the coach class crush with the 343 seating is obvious. Even the svelte trio of Flight Global's Ned Russell and RGN's Seth Miller and Jason Rabinowitz look squashed. With narrower aisle seats, plus some questionable choices about the layout of the underseat structures, the comfort canyon between business and economy is bigger than ever. Roll on premium economy. Lufthansa, meanwhile, has the opposite problem on its Airbus A350. Economy and premium economy are great, but business is still mediocre. With these aircraft destined for the Munich subfleet that's slimming down on first class, shouldn't Lufthansa be offering a competitive, and not commoditized business class seat? Lastly, I took to the rails over the world's largest stretch of straight railway track across Australia's Nullarbor Plain. The trip is a truly iconic Australian experience, but what can airlines learn from the famous Indian Pacific train? That's all for this week. Follow us on Twitter at ThatJohn and at RunwayGirl. Keep up to the minute with the PaxX hashtag and join us next time for the Runway Girl Network PaxX Minute. We're going.